And I know what you want, tryna roll me in the blunt Did push a nigga front, you can get slumped Deuce five with a up, homicide is a must Who can I trust? I don't know who I could trust I don't know who finna bust, don't give a fuck Tell my head is wet, I'm up, tell my head is wet, I'm up Yo, what's going on YouTube? Kai here, checking out with another video Yeah, my YouTube channel has been blowing up Thank y'all for all the support that y'all giving me and that y'all giving my little bro right now because this is really going a long way. Like, seriously, it's going a long way. It is touching me and him. It's touching his, his mother. And I really want to thank y'all just really from the bottom of my heart because we really spreading awareness. I really just want to say thank y'all on the behalf of him also because even though he can't say thank you right now, I know that's what he really wants. He really loves and appreciates all the fans that's, you know, hitting him up every day saying that, you know, Cass said, you know, he loved you, Cass said, we all showing love for Cass and stuff like that. Because remind y'all, he, he knows me in real life. It's different when y'all saying it from when I'm saying it. It's, it hits different. So I really just want to thank y'all because, you know, that's really somebody I know in real life and, I don't want to see him get hurt. Like, this literally, like, my best friend on everything. Like, this not nothing made up. As y'all can see, I'm throwing up old images as my thumbnail. Like, that's really somebody who I grew up with. We 20-plus years in the game. Y'all want some stories about me and him, how we met each other, how we first met each other, or, like, what, what games we used to play coming up, or how he even became a YouTuber. Like, I got stories about... I had real stories about how he, like, real stories. So if y'all want to know some stuff, because like, I don't know if he ever going to get back, you know. When a person got schizophrenia, you never know. They will have to live with that forever. This is something that's, that that they can't just shake. Even even with their own medication, even if they're on medication, this is something that they cannot just shake. So I just want to let y'all know that. I really appreciate y'all. This don't even have nothing to do with, you know, me getting subscribers or anything like that. I'm trying to get that negative life that he put on himself. I'm trying to get that off of him so he can get back healthy or even get semi-healthy to make YouTube videos and, and get y'all the dope content that he been giving y'all for years. Because like I always say, he worked too hard to just now fall off. Like he put too many years into this. When you put over 10 years into doing something, that make you a master. And he put over 10 years in this. And for him to put over 10 years in this, and uh, it basically, like, he basically just stopped working or basically, like, loses his fans and loses everything he worked hard for. It's like, okay, what what did you do all this for? You did all this just to, like, you just you worked that hard just for nothing. And uh, even for, for the younger fans or people who say, you know, Gentle was the reason why uh, y'all started doing YouTube and stuff like that. Like, that shit make me proud because... When we when we start looking at YouTube, when we start looking at YouTube, I put Marcus on the YouTube back in 2005, 2006. I put Marcus on the watching YouTube videos. This when YouTube wasn't nothing. Like the first couple videos, well, the first YouTuber that we watched that I put him on to was Timothy De La Ghetto, and from there that's when it ro it rose like Timothy De La Ghetto and. You know, he was watching other YouTubers back then that they fell off and stuff like that. But I understand how these kids looking at looking up to him, like, you know, we like how he doing the, the YouTube content and stuff like that. Like, we want to be 2K YouTubers and we want to be gaming YouTubers. We want to be streamers and everything like that, man. If y'all want these videos, bruh, keep giving these videos thumbs up. Keep sharing these videos and keep praying for him. Keep him in your prayers. Keep his family in your prayers. Like I said, I'm very appreciative for y'all spreading these messages because at the end of the day, this don't have nothing to do with me, bro. This is about my best friend. This is about my man. This is somebody I grew up with. Shit just hit different. It really just hit different when it's somebody that you know. It just hit different. And I wish I was there. I wish me and him never fell out. So he wouldn't have been in this situation now. He wouldn't have been smoking no weed. He wouldn't have been doing no drugs. He wouldn't have been around these toxic people. I wish that me and him never fell out. That way 
I would have been on his ass, you know what I'm saying? I would have kept him in line to where he would never fell off. He would never got to this point of being so toxic and being so harmful to not to himself and also to the fans that he built up. But like I said, I, this is just a, a video that I just want to thank everybody on the behalf of his family and even on the behalf of him. Make sure y'all stay up to date because I'm going to keep giving y'all these daily videos. And until next time, peace.